Hello and welcome to the class. Today we will discuss one of the topics from gender and society and the topic is ecofeminism. By the end of this lecture you will be able to understand what is ecofeminism, its definition, meaning, the goals of ecofeminism, some of the thinkers who propagated this theory, some movements which are related to this theory and we will also discuss some questions. So let us begin. The word ecofeminism was first used by Francois D. Ebion and it is a movement that describes what is feminism and ecology. So both of these are combined to tell what is ecofeminism. That means it has roots in both ecology and feminism. They are interconnected because they believe that the causes of the environmental degradation and the degradation of the status of women or the injustice that is done to the women, the root cause of both are male domination and exploitation and inequality. They also say that nature and women exist to fulfill the requirement of men and men in return, they exploit them in order to fulfill their own needs. So this approach is a feminist approach towards environmental ethics. Okay, so it's a synthesis of both. It seeks to find out the causes of the oppression of women and also how to deal with them. So first you need to find out what is the root cause of the problem. Only then you will be able to deal with it. This theory believes that there is an interconnection between women and the oppression of other humans also. So we talk about the oppression of women the oppression of natural resources, ecology and other humans also. So what uh, includes in this other humans? It could be ageism. We differentiate and discriminate between the people of older age probably, colonialism, racism and the domination of nature that is called naturalism. So this ecofeminism, it gives necessary conditions and it wants to eradicate all the oppressive conceptual framework that is already there so all of the frameworks that are already there all the male domination male thinking that is already there they want to eradicate it and create a world in which the differences that are there because the differences will always be there a woman will be woman a man will be man the natural resources will be natural resources you cannot change that but what can be changed is that these differences do not lead to domination or oppression of one okay this theory does not believe in ethical essentialism or that the concepts are defined by a set of conditions that means it is not important that what has been said it it should be carried on no it has to be changed if it is creating inequalities for one gender or one uh, category of people okay now let's move forward what are the goals of ecofeminism practices and theories that concern humans and the natural environment they should not be male biased okay it should treat everyone equally and to provide a guide in the pre-feminist present is this the goal of eco-feminist environmental ethics that means the people who are less privileged who are deprived of some equalities so this preferential treatment can be given but it should not lead to any uh, differences or domination of one and the oppression of another and it should not be male biased no favor no categorization no special treatment to men the other goal is it is a revolutionary position why because they want to dismantle the structure of traditional western ethics that means that means the structure that is already made they want to dismantle it and in place of it they want to construct a new one and what should be the new one the new one should be such that it does not promote the isms of domination isms meaning that means there should no racism feminism why is there a need to bring these things because women are being oppressed there is a um, discrimination or domination so all these isms should be eradicated and the 
interconnection between oppression of women and other humans and the domination of nature all this should be recognized and the dominating people the dominating category here the men they should be realized that this is wrong and this structure has to be ended so one important movement in terms of india when we talk about eco feminism is the chipko movement so we've all heard about this movement we know it started where did it start when did it start we all know that but what is the eco feministic approach here it is that the women who worked there they had the knowledge about trees they worked with the trees they were dependent on it they were earning on it so what happened was since they were earning on it their livelihood depended on it so the men got to know that they are getting empowered they are getting powerful because they have a source of earning money so in order to dominate the women what did they have to do they had to take away that freedom of money from them so they said yes to the companies and to the government to take a, to cut down the trees and take that land because if that land was not there if the trees were gone so the women did not have uh, have any other uh, option to work so they would be deprived of this feeling of empowerment and would be dominated again so to protest this the women were against their own fathers brothers husbands whoever the local men who opposed them because the trees meant much more to them not only as natural resources but much more it was a part of their identity because because of them only they were working and they were surviving so it was a part of their identity so they raised their voices in order to protect the trees that is nature and in order to protect themselves that is eco feminism i hope you got the idea now moving ahead we'll discuss one of the major thinkers from india who propagated eco feminism that is vandana shiva she said that there are many categories in which women and nature are considered as inferior passive and non productive okay that this is the idea of men how they see women and nature therefore uh, they try to dominate and exploit them so vandana shiva she played a major role in the global eco feminist movement she suggested that if we turn agriculture towards employing more and more women and engaging more of them and making it women centered it would be more productive she said that the patriarchal logic of exclusion that is excluding women it should be criticized because they try to uh, dominate women and they try to exclude them so if she would not be engaged in any economical activity she will be easy to oppress a women focused system would change the current system in an extremely positive manner so she uh, see she's uh, uh, emphasizing on women focused women centered system again and again she also believed that ecological destruction and industrial catastrophes threaten daily life okay so what men are doing in the you know they are becoming greedy and just for profits they are threatening the daily life by uh, deconstructing ecological parts of the country and creating industrial uh, societies so the maintenance of these have become the responsibility of women because they understand the way women have been oppressed the nature has been oppressed as well so they understand it and now the responsibility has come on the shoulders of women so i hope you were able to understand what is eco feminism i have put a list of thinkers and books so it will be helpful in your examinations you can just take a look at it it has the names of books and authors both now we'll discuss some questions question number 1 which is the main basis for the growth of eco feminism so the main basis was women's lives and their relationship with nature so there is always an interconnection between women and nature when we talk about eco feminism question number 2 is which ideological movement emerged as a response to the large scale destruction of environment and the subsequent impact on women so see again there is a a uh, connection on environment and women so the answer will be eco feminism so let us just quickly understand what are these other points the option one is euphemism euphemism is when we replace harsh words with the polite ones that is euphemism 
the c option is androcentrism androcentrism is when there is a male centric point masculine centric point and the opposite of it is gynocentric when the point uh, point of focus is female uh, last is existential feminism existential is uh, existential feminism propagates freedom personal relations equality that is economic social political all of these should be equal to men and women equal rights so these are the existential feminism points thank you for watching the video